Hello, Leo, and welcome to your September 2018 monthly reading. This is for Leo. Oops. For September 2018. If this resonates with you, Leo, please like, share, and subscribe, and leave me a comment. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you, Leo, Please check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign, as this will not resonate with every Leo out there. If you would like a private reading with me, something more specific to your personal situation, all the information is down below in the description box. And this is for Leo. This is for Leo for September 2018. For Leo. Wow, this is pretty good. All right, so <laughs> we have um, cancer energy at the bottom of the deck. Okay, and um, I don't know what's going on, but I just want to point this out real quick just to start off. This card has been popping up in nearly every reading. I don't know what is happening right now, but to me, um, I always say, you know, the Two of Cups is more of a soulmate. The, the Lover's card is more of a twin flame situation. So I feel, I feel like, you know, this is a very strong connection, possibly even a twin flame connection with this reading here. The, that card has been showing up um, in nearly every reading. No joke. All right. So we have the chariot here. This is cancer energy. Okay. You want to charge forward. You, you're done waiting around. You need some movement here. You're getting impatient. Leo energy. Of course, you're going to be impatient. You want to go after what you want. That's what a Leo does. Um, you're, you want to move forward. You want a victory in this situation. But if it's going to continue to drag out, then you're going to move forward anyway. Okay? You're going to move forward with or without this person. That's the point. Um that's where you're at right now. Okay. So, yeah. At the heart of the reading, here you are waiting around. Nothing you can do but wait, right? You know what you want, but you just can't get it right now. Okay. What's crossing you is the Ace of Wands. You want this passionate new beginning full of sexual energy, full of creativity, full of passion. You want this to get started, okay? You want to charge ahead with this situation, but there's hesitation. There's hesitation here, okay? And I don't think it's on your part, all right? At the root of the reading, someone has a decision to make. That's the problem. You're waiting on somebody to make a decision, okay? We have the lovers here, of course, Gemini energy, and it's a very strong connection. You're waiting on somebody to make a heart overhead decision. You're waiting on somebody to follow their heart here and decide either between two people or two places or to be with you or whatever that decision is, however it resonates with you, Leo. Okay. Um, you're waiting. You're waiting on somebody to make a decision in the past, in the Recent past, all they're giving you is these little opportunities. And sometimes when I see this card in a situation like this, it's like breadcrumbs. They're just sprinkling breadcrumbs to keep you dangling, right? It's not like the King of Pentacles coming in and, you know, offering this big stable commitment. It's just a little pinnacle, Right, Page of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Then, in the near future, 
Here we have Taurus energy. So definitely could be dealing with the Taurus here. <laughs> but um, this is a higher level of commitment. So finally, there's movement. Finally, there's a decision. Finally, there is some sort of commitment here, taking it to the next level. Instead of these breadcrumbs, this is the real deal. So finally, this thing can get off the ground, right? And what is um, crowning this reading is this reciprocity. So an equal give and take, a balance. Do you see those Libra scales right there? There's an equal give and take here. They're going to put in the work now. Okay, instead of giving you breadcrumbs, they're going to um, put in as much work as you do. They're going to put in effort now. They're going to express themselves now. They are going to open their heart to you now because you have been opening your heart to them. You have been putting in the work. There's going to be balance here. All right, Leo. Six of Pentacles, more earth energy. And then this is you. This is you. Okay, you're embracing this King of Pentacles energy. You want it all. Okay, they're giving you this, or they were giving you that, while you are offering this. Okay, you see the difference there? The King of Pentacles offers um, lifetime opportunities, um, growing old together, stability, commitment. They're, you want to take care of this person. You want to be in this person's life for um, years and years and years to come. And it was it's a very um, thought out, well thought out, serious offer here. Okay, the King of Pentacles, he as a person could be working um, with land in some way like finances or or farming or um real estate, construction, but he's he's the boss man. He's the one in charge, okay? And he's the one that's going to be able to offer you stability and abundance and loyalty and protection, okay? He's the king that you want. He's the king that you want to be, right? He's This is what's going on here. You're offering the world and they're offering you peanuts, and you're stuck waiting for them to decide what they're going to do because you want to get this passionate new beginning up and off the ground. Well, in the new, in the near future, I see that happening. I see this balancing out. I see this, this commitment happening. But in the meantime, this person coming towards you is not being honest. They're being very shady. They are not telling you everything. They are not telling you how they feel right now. Okay, this is known as the Thief card in the Tarot deck. We have the Seven of Swords, Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So they're not being 100% with you right now. They're not. Okay, so just be aware of that. And they're not, you know, they're not able to express how they feel. In your hopes and your fears, you want this chapter to be done. You want to start and you want to start a new chapter with this person. You want a fresh start. You want to start your life over with this person. They just need to get on board, basically. All right, Leo. So the overall outcome here is the Ace of Pentacles, more Earth energy. So this is a gift, okay? A gift from the divine, a gift from you, an offer from you. Um, and keep in mind. These energies can be interchangeable. It can be vice versa. All right. So however it resonates with you, Leo. Um, we have, you know, somebody offering something here. And this is uh, an opportunity that is grounded. It's stable. It's the same thing, you know, that a king of pentacles would offer. Right. It's. Uh, long-term commitments it's a stable new beginning okay so that is what is happening here please clarify the ace of Pentacles for Leo please clarify the ace of Pentacles for Leo yep and a reunion it's going to be a celebration 
it's going to be a celebration. It's going to be a celebration. Okay, you may be asking this person to marry you. Okay, and this has weighed heavy on your heart, Leo. It's almost to the point where, like I said at the beginning, you want movement forward because you are at that place where you're ready to drop it. It's either get on board or I'm moving on kind of thing. That's what the deal is here. And I feel like they're going to get on board with this because there is going to be reciprocity here. There is going to be um, a, a next level of commitment. There's going to be offers and acceptance, celebrations, reunion, that kind of thing. So this is a beautiful reading here, Leo. Let's see what the angel, the romance angels has for Leo for September 2018. Yeah, you've kept faith. You've kept hope in this, okay? And it's like right at the point where you're ready to throw up your hands is when they finally get on board. We stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So you've been visualizing the, yourself with this person. You've been visualizing, you know, having conversations with this person. You've been visualizing holding their hand and taking long walks and spending time together, cooking dinner together, that kind of thing, right? The power of visualization is very strong positive thinking is very strong this is a very strong law of attraction card here and this person has to know that it is safe for them to love it is safe for them to open their heart open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all and i think that's one of the biggest problems here and i think that's why they're coming through as this they're not a comfortable opening their heart they're not comfortable at expressing and showing their true feelings here. But rest assured, they want to get on board with this. Okay. Um, it's almost like as, as soon as it, you're at that breaking point, you're at that breaking point and you just want to just drop it. That's all of a sudden, boom, it changes. And instead of crumbs, they're giving you um, a lifetime commitment here. All right, Leo. So that's what we got. If you would like a private reading with me, all the information is down below. And I go live usually, not today, but um, usually Sunday through Friday. I go live um, Sunday through Thursday. I do a daily message around noon Eastern Standard Time. And then Friday, I do the Love, Lust, or Loss show around noon Eastern Standard Time. Next week, I will be getting out the extended version since everyone enjoyed it so much. Uh, the extended version of the How Do They Feel About You series. So keep a lookout for that. You all take very good care. It was a really nice reading for you, Leo. All right, we'll talk to you soon. God bless.